Placing EVM on contract is the first step in the integrated program management process. After contract award, the contractor must establish a plan to execute the contract. Establishing a baseline plan is no small task. It will take an entire team of experts several months to figure out the best way to attack all of the requirements in the statement of work. The plan cannot just be high-level goals and milestones, it must be detailed down to a much lower level where progress can be measured. Take a moment and imagine yourself as a contractor with an EVM requirement on a large multi-year contract. How am I supposed to establish a detailed plan for the entire contract period of performance? I can give you my best guess based upon my experience, but there's going to be some unknowns in my plan. During the integrated baseline review, the government team must assess the contractor's plan in terms of five risk categories. The technical risk comes down to the contractor's detailed plan. Does it align with the scope of work as laid out in the contract? Is there a blueprint to meet all of the technical performance measurements or TPMs? Resource risk looks at the availability of facilities and personnel at the appropriate skill level. Are there any resource constraints that could disrupt the schedule or increase cost? The management process assessment looks at the contractor's internal management processes. Have they established rules and norms on how to document, collect, and report EVM data? Are the scheduling and accounting functions properly aligned? Are the contractors following their own internal EVM processes? Schedule risk determination is down to individual tasks supporting the overall plan. Is there enough duration built into each task? Is the planned schedule reasonable? Another risk area is cost. How were the cost estimates derived? Is there a logical connection between the cost estimates and the planned schedule? During the IBR, each of the five risk areas are assigned a risk rating. Both the contractor perspective and the government's perspective should be considered when finalizing the risk ratings. The ultimate goal of the IBR is for the government team and the contractor team to come away with a mutual understanding of the risks involved with the baseline plan.